Hello, it's now 2.34 p.m. <clears throat> so, even if you don't plan things in advance, the perks are always right there. So, let me tell y'all, this is not gossip. This is my situation. So, at the last minute, I just grabbed my little trash and went right the moment I walked right out the door it was a um and I wish I would have had I wish I would have had my phone with me but you know when I go take out the trash you know I don't even like to touch the trash cans because you know OCD and stuff like that so the um I couldn't even see the person's face but it was like I'm very much right in two doors from the front office. So they had a um a perp in a older white Malibu that looked like about two thousand three model Malibu. And um the bastard does not stay here for sure. And <clears throat> it's like how the hell do the perps know in advance that I mean I could have just took my trash and just um put it in the, in the bathroom with the rest of the trash but I mean then what would you, what would you have done then I wonder how many times a day do they pass by and to try to surveil and pretend to fake monitor me you know so I mean, I don't even, it was just a small amount of trash, but I don't even take the trash and put it in those little things. I put it in a bigger container. So, it was a perp in a white, older model Malibu that was waiting for me and had like funny tail lights. Well, I meant funny brake lights. And then, you know, like they wanted to sit there and pretend to fake monitor me like like you keeping an eye on a child on a small child <clears throat> like as if what you think I'm too retarded and too dumb to, to know how to take out the trash so that it's like they do this to me a lot when I'm in hotels and motels and stuff that they want to um pretend to fake narcissistically pretend to fake monitor me while I go walk and and, and then on the other side it's like the the little small trash containers they are like um one or two doors down the opposite way so i mean i don't need anybody to monitor me take out the trash and so they want to sit there and make sure that i'm putting the trash into the bin and then after that after after I after I put the trash into the bin, like as if they want their final confirmation, and so after I put the trash into the bin, and then I close the top part, and then and as right immediately after I do that, and then I walk back, and then they you know they drive off the property. But you know, I'm, I mean. It's it's like you y'all stalking everything I do. I'm gonna say it again: gang stalking is human trafficking, and gang stalking is murder. So um, so I mean, I've been feeling depressed lately, and um, I have that fake mental health appointment tomorrow. <clears throat> and um, the gang stalkers know all about it. I didn't even have to do a video to talk about it. They know all about it. And so, you know, for the past few days, my diet hasn't been the best. Um, well, I have just a little bit of ve uh, fresh vegetables left, but no more fresh fruits left. And I still got canned stuff left. 
But um, <clears throat> so I, I, I'm I'm sick of them. You know, I I know people will say, well, there's nothing you can do about it, but they're the criminals treating me like I'm the criminal. And, and it's like that the gang stalkers there are after our soul, whether you want to recognize it or not, they're after our soul. And some stupid ass fake target individuals have given them their souls. And then once you give them your soul, then you turn around and perp harder than they do. Like, like as if you got to fight to work extra hard to perp and hurt innocent. I mean, if you've been in that predicament before being targeted, why would you give in? You didn't like how it felt when you were targeted. So you didn't like when, so why would you go and do that to other people? And, and so it's like TIs that turn perps, they, the offenses are much harsher because they work harder to perp than the regular perps. It's like, is it, they got to fight harder. And then I got to hear their fake excuse talking about some, oh, they got some good gang stalkers that, you know, gang stalk us for the good and, and they want what's best for us. And, um, and, and they have good gang stalkers that are there to help. Bullshit. Or they'll say that the gang stalkers really don't want to gang stalk us, but they're either forced or mind controlled to gang stalk us. No, they gang stalk us because they want to. I got all this dry skin, so pardon me for um, you you know for you know scratching my nose and stuff like that. See, I have seborrheic dermatitis, so you see dry skin. <clears throat> and as I said, I haven't had any seborrheic symptoms until I came here. At this motel, but at the other motel, and when I was on the streets, and in for the past several years, I haven't even been having dry danger for dry skin. You, you know, um, at all, and now it's come back with vengeance. You see how it's kind of white, uh, all around and dry all around here. <clears throat> so anyway. You know, as I said, I can't even go, well, the ice machine doesn't work here. So I can't even go take out the trash. I can't, you know, walk a very short distance. And, 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 and you know, they're the demon-possessed criminals who think they got fake authority over me. <clears throat> you know, trying to make it like, you're not supposed to be doing this, or you have no business doing that, or... You know, you're wrong for this, or you're committing a crime, you're breaking the law and committing a crime by doing this. When it's actually y'all the criminal lawbreakers that y'all participate in this. <clears throat> you know, I'm just trying to live my life, survive, and mind my own business. You know, um, so <clears throat> while I'm on here, I might as well talk about the um the tax refund thing. So I guess I have for sure until the 18th to stay here. If not that, if if not if I don't have if I can't stay here past the 18th or if I don't have get my tax refund past I mean if I don't get the tax refund before the 18th then I might have to either panhandle and beg for more money to stay here or I might have to end up back on the streets again until or unless I can get my other, um, I mean, get that um, tax refund. And so I've been hearing horror stories and different stories about, um, you know, some people I overheard that, you know, so basically the government is making, the IRS is making basically 
the poor have to wait longer than the rich to get their tax refunds back. The poor has to wait longer than the rich to get their tax refunds back. But then, <clears throat> you know, if you get the earned income tax credit because you're poor, you're supposed to be able to, um, like, if you get the earned income tax credit, you're supposed to be able to, um, you, you know, get a little more, you know, <clears throat> but at the same time, with the earned income tax credit, they're making, they're making you wait longer and they claim it's to prevent fraud or people trying to falsely, because they have, like, I heard they have, um, people lying and saying that they didn't get a stimulus check, I mean, stimulus check when they did. And so I heard, and, and then the child tax credits and stuff, I heard that's holding everything up. So, but they said on average between one and three weeks. So, I don't, all I, my stuff is still in the first stage. And so, um, my stuff is still in the first stage. And I'm kind of disappointed that things didn't turn out as planned. And and I heard you know I heard stories about some people who got their refunds back and saying that they got less than what they were originally told or got less than what they were supposed to get. So um, I reported everything accurately and stuff like that, you know, accurately and honestly and everything like that. And and I went to the tax preparation place to make sure that everything was done right the right way and done correctly because I was afraid if I would have do, have done it you know if, if I would have just filled out the tax thing myself I was af I was afraid that you know I, I didn't want anything to go wrong so I just wanted to be secure that everything went right and it's still taking over a week and um but they said don't call the IRS until it, I mean unless it's after 3 weeks so you know I'm just saying in advance that you know on March 18th I hope to not have to be back on the streets again that's not this Friday but the Friday after I'm I'm hoping to not have to be back on the streets again, but you know, um, it's March, so you, so you get a mixture of spring weather and winter weather, and so like this week it would be warm or whatever, and then this coming Saturday, I mean it's been it's supposed to be rainy all week this week, and then Saturday it's supposed to be like in the early 30s. Saturday and Sunday is supposed to be cold at night, and then. Um, next week, I'm not sure how it's supposed to be, but I don't have the weather to worry about because I'm secure in here, you know, so, um, um, so, I mean, today I'm just, I'm gonna, um, well, my finger is, you know, I, I see, I figured that what happened with my knee, the previous night, what happened to my knee, um, with my knee, like last night, my right knee was, um, vi they were vibrating right, my right knee. So, remember I showed y'all the other day that they were vibrating, they were vibrating my, um, my, my left finger on purpose so that I couldn't write. And so, um, so I haven't had much of any issues with my finger since then. So that's how you know it's part of the, the directed energy weapons. Cause I haven't had much of a problem with my thumb, my left thumb. I haven't had much of a problem with it. 
So last night they were vibrating my right knee and kept doing it consistently. And then right after I did a video, right when I did a video about it, that's when they stopped, they stopped vibrating my knee. But people want to say shut up and ignore and don't react. But the, the tortures and attacks stop once, once you, I do a film and do a, I mean, do a video about it. If that puts it to a stop, then that's what I'm going to do. So, um, it was about January 20th. Now, now see, they're hitting me in my right ear. I mean, I'm sorry, my left ear with the high pitch frequencies at the moment. And a few minutes ago, they were hitting me exactly right here into my scalp. I mean, in my hair, I mean, my scalp and my, on the left side of my brain, you know, the frontal lobe right here they were hitting me really hard for the past um i mean a few minutes ago and they did it for like two or three minutes had that you you ever feel pressure that's strong enough strong enough to be to the point of pain and so people want to talk about there's a difference between pain and pressure well if a pressure is applied hard enough or strong enough, then it becomes painful. So, so then they'll try to discredit me. You know, if I say pain or pressure, then they try to discredit me. I'm trying to say that there is a difference between pain and pressure, just like people want to try to discredit me, trying to say there's a difference between manipulation and force. Well, there's a such thing as coercive manipulation and abuse. You know, people try to say, oh, well, that person didn't put a gun to your head, so how are you going to say they force you? There's psychological and mental and verbal abuse and coercion. They don't have to put their hands on you. I mean, I'm being forced to do something I don't want to do tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to be forced to do something I don't want to do. You know, so, I mean, y'all have y'all minds made up to believe that Candy Grand Prix is crazy for life. That I'm crazy for life. That I'm going to die crazy and still be labeled crazy even after I'm dead. That I was known as this cuckoo puff. The fat, greedy, lazy, crazy cuckoo puff who always complain and beg for money and scam people and whatever other false smear campaigns you got floating around there that I'm the P word and I'm a drug addict and that I do this and I do that I'm a prostitute and a crazy person and a druggie and all these lies so um it's like with y'all gang stalkers Y'all get paid to do crazy shit that's nonsensical that ultimately leads in, into a person's murder. Freemasonry doesn't make any damn sense. Their occult rituals are senseless. I don't care, I'm freaking speaking out. So, so y'all know y'all work for the devil. Y'all know y'all evil. Y'all know y'all wicked. And then y'all reverse it on me and lie and say, I'm so wicked and evil. <clears throat> y'all all deserve to go and fry in hell. I'm going to say it again. Y'all all deserve to go fry in hell. Because <clears throat> y'all frying the shit out of us right now. Y'all frying us while we're on this earth. Y'all frying us targeting individuals. Y'all fry us. Fry, boil, bo bro boil, broil, fry, bake. Um, yeah. Y'all y'all do it all. Y'all cooking us to death. So we already have our hell. We already have our hell that we go we gotta be forced to go that y'all force us to, to be put through. So um right now I guess I'm a um 
and and I, I it's like my diet hasn't been able to be the, to be the best um staying here you, you know if somebody gave me the idea of getting groceries delivered and I'm like wow I didn't even think about that so um so yeah I mean Publix is yeah they have um Instacart but when Dixie is cheaper than Publix and you get more deals but Publix food is a little healthier but um because I was able to just walk across the street at the other motel I was able to just walk across the street to Publix and um I was able to walk across the street and I was always drinking detox juices and um stuff like that you know I try to eat fruits and vegetables when I could but I mainly was um drinking the juices I felt like they were you know more convenient but I mean <clears throat> I wrote a blog yeah last night I told y'all about wishing I could um you know if I could have had a cooking YouTube channel or if I had a YouTube channel about reviewing um, restaurants but then being treated poorly as a targeted individual you, you know bloggers like if you if you a food reviewer or if you review products in general like say if you review these headphones that you like if you do the pros and cons you know you'll just talk about the product but you don't see food reviewers or food critics they don't really much get paid I mean they'll talk about the food but they won't you know really talk much about poor customer service if they had to experience it so, and which you get a lot of as a targeted individual so um and I would have had to deal with harassment every time I would have tried to work on a video if I were to try to work on a video about cooking and then next thing you know they create their noise campaign or they'll shut off my video or do something crazy to, to halt and distract me from whatever I'm trying to accomplish. But you know, I see all these you know cooking YouTube channels. I'm I miss having my own permanent place in cooking. I'm tired of the microwave, which ain't healthy. And so um I haven't been even been eating healthy as healthy lately and stuff like that but this place is you know I'm thankful and glad to have you know a, a place you know a safe place to live at the moment but you know I'm just saying that this place is pretty small for equipment like a juicer or a smoothie maker or if I were to have a um, like a juicer or smoothie maker or if I were to have like a toaster oven, an air fryer or a crock pot and I could show y'all recipes like my own recipes because back then I used to want to have my own restaurant specializing in soups and casseroles and baked goods and stuff like that or you know desserts and stuff and so I mean but the perps were the halt back too. But I did a blog on a blog post on it, on talking about it. So I don't know. I might do some more blogging or maybe some sh more short stories this evening. But first, you know, I want to go and take a detox bath. I haven't had one of those in a while. And so, um, y you know, I love taking detox baths and stuff like that you know so but i've been just feeling so depressed lately i have it's just feeling very down lately due because of the gang stalking and because of everything we're hearing about in the news and stuff like that even alternative news you just feel doomed and hopeless and afraid when i i, I mean i know we're not really supposed to be scared but you know i got i mean i I'm just feeling afraid, you know, and hearing about Russia and Ukraine and hearing about food shortages and empty shelves and all this other stuff going, just everything that's going on is just 
you know, got me feeling down. And then my own personal gang stalking. And then fear, constantly fearing being back on the streets again anytime soon. And feeling um, discouraged about, um, I, I mean, I just don't know. Because people try to make it like as if war is imminent right now and get prepared right now. But I, I feel like they're holding our tax refunds back on purpose. You know, and I'm trying to practice patience. So, I mean, I mean, it, I mean, I still cannot find, I, I mean, I guess looking for a permanent place to live right now, I guess it's pointless because I don't have the refund yet, but I thought that I would get everything all at once and that could have been, like, if I could have got my March um, social security check and combine it with the tax refund that together all at once could have been you know I probably could have had a better chance at help with you know finding a permanent place to live but they probably would have still turned me down because I don't have any recent apartment rental history you know just like they turn you down if you don't have recent employment history so let me stop rambling my mouth. I don't know. I think I'll just rest for a bit. I don't know if I'll take a detox bath or just a regular shower. But, you know, I'll see y'all later.